Hi friends, welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary, and today we're going to be making a get well card for one of my dear, dear friends who has broken her ankle. I feel so bad for her, so I wanted to get her a card made and get it in the mail today. We're going to use Georgian Basic Shapes and Nate's ABCs, and we're going to use a Band-Aid again, like we did on another recent get well card that I made, but we've got a brand new Cards TV card kit and caboodle sketch. This is sketch number 21, so you can find all 21 sketches at my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. They're all free to download, and you can just go over there, download them to your computer, and save them for some time when you maybe get stumped and need a card sketch. And I like this one. It's a little bit different. So that's the Cricut cartridges and the sketch we're going to use. For our papers, we're going to use this Simple Story Snap Color Vibe. And a little bit from this Doodlebug Design Sweet Cakes. I think this one's really cute. And for our sentiment, we're going to use one of the new Cards TV sets called potpourri and that's just like the name says it's a little bit of everything guys it's for birthdays and all kinds of things but right over here we've got ouch happy healing and here is cards tv card kit and caboodle sketch number 21 and here's my card kit in the envelope and what you do is you go ahead and make up a bunch of these kits go ahead cut your papers just like in your sketch, but don't do your sentiment yet. And then when you need a card, you pull out your kit and you are good to go. Now, if we look at the sketch, and you can change this up, guys. This is just for inspiration. Use rectangles, squares, whatever. I've got a circle here, but we're not going to use a circle today. I'll show you what we're going to use. But we look, and our card base is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded and our first mat is four by five and a quarter so let's see what we've got in here there's our little band-aids we're going to use and this is from the simple stories six by six paper pad and i love this it's so pretty and it matches our background so well so we're going to get that down then we've got a border down here that's an inch by four inches. This is a pretty simple card design, but I really like it. And that's going to go right down here. But we're going to put our sentiment on it before we adhere it down. We're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment on our border. And this is going to freak some of you out. I know it is, but it's okay, guys. Trust me. We're going to take Ouch Happy Healing off the potpourri stamp set and I've got my little cutter bee scissors over here because we're going to cut this stamp I want it on two lines instead of one so I'm going to snip off ouch because I want ouch up here and happy healing on the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and cut it guys trust me it will be okay Just a quick snip and it's done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and line it up on here right where I want it. We're going to put ouch and happy healing underneath. And I've got some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And we're going to use that to stamp our sentiment. And I'm using my Fisker stamp press but you can also do this if you have a misty or if you just want to use a stamp block you can do that so we're going to ink this up and get this stamped and then we'll get this on our card base and then when I want to use it again on one line I can just line it up just like that and use it. There we go. Ouch. 
happy healing. We'll go ahead and get this attached. Now we look at our sketch again and we see we've got two really long narrow rectangles and I've got them at an inch and a quarter by three and three quarters for the front one and the back one I've got an inch and a quarter by three and a half. But I'm not going to use just rectangles. I'm going to use the little band-aids that you'll find in the Nate's ABC cartridge on page 66. And I used this the other day. Well, actually, it was about a month ago. One of my co-workers was in a car wreck and got pretty banged up. And I used the band-aids then, and I remembered them, and I thought, I need another get well card and this time it's a broken bone and I thought this one would really give my friend a chuckle to see these big band-aids on here so you hit shift and hand to cut the base of your band-aid and then layer one for the center of your band-aid and I've cut two at the same size and I cut my band-aids at five and three quarter inches which you can see it's not quite the same size but it still works and we're going to put one down going this way and then this one on top just like that but I want to get the center of my band-aids adhered first so I'm going to grab my two-way glue pen and get these on my band-aids and then I'm going to put the bottom one down flat and this one I'm going to pop up on some foam tape. There's my first band-aid and I've got this one on some foam tape and I'm going to do just like in the sketch and put it right down here at an angle. That looks about right. Now I've got a one inch circle here but I decided since this is for my good friend that I want to do a heart and I've cut three hearts actually this one's going to have some foam tape on one side because it's going to be going across the band-aid so I've cut an inch or a heart at an inch then I've got this one up here which is three quarters of an inch and then I have a smaller one which is half an inch it's going right there that's so cute now I found the hearts in the George cartridge on page 119 it's this heart right here and as I said I cut the hearts at an inch three quarters of an inch and half an inch and all the dimensions for this will be at the end of the video guys here's my finished card and I think it turned out super cute and I think my friends are really going to get a chuckle out of this with these band-aids and ouch happy healing love these little band-aids and we used Cards TV Card Kit and Caboodle sketch number 21 and don't forget guys you can go over and download all 21 sketches at my blog cardstv.blogspot.com and if you like this stamp set that's potpourri and it's good for lots of different occasions you can find that at cardstvstamps.blogspot.com Thank you so much for coming by today, guys. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I love making these little cards that I hope can uh, put a little sunshine in the day of someone who's had an injury or is not feeling well. And that just, I think that says it all right there. If you can just encourage somebody, it means a lot. And it, in turn, encourages you. So... Go out there today and encourage somebody, guys. <laughs> Give somebody a pat on the back and tell them you love them. And I love all of you, and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.